Hey folks, Lee Tiffin here with another installment of Tiffin Tips with special guest Zach Nethery today. Zach and I go way back, I actually hired him years ago at Van Lee and he's been with the company ever since. And today he leads our Class C engineering group. And Zach, tell us what we're gonna talk about today. Sure, uh, thanks for the introduction, Lee. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about winterization on a Class C motorhome. So uh, we'll go over a Wayfair TW that we have here with us. And um, important note is that it'll be the same process on any Wayfair that we produce or any Midas that we produce. Excellent. So it's a Truma system? Yes. Awesome. And uh, we're ready to jump in, right? Let's do it. The first thing you want to make sure when you're winterizing your unit is that you've turned the blue valve in the wet bay to city for the first step. Um, from there we're going to move around and drain the fresh tank toward the rear of the coach and then we're going to move to the exterior of the Truma water heater and uh, show you a few things on it to prep for the winterization. Alright, so for the next step we're going to go around toward the rear of the coach. You'll look under the coach and find a water line hanging from your fresh tank. There will be a shutoff valve on it. You want to make sure it's open so you can drain your fresh tank. Um, and then we're going to move on to the Truma. Right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the unit is turned off. Um, then we'll open the pressure relief valve and make sure there's no pressure on the system. Then we'll open up this yellow door that houses the water filter and pull the filter out. Important note on this step, um, if your unit does have water in it, there will be water pouring out of here and there could be some residual pressure on the system that would force the filter out a little faster. So now that we have the water filter removed from the Truma system, we can put compressed air through the system and make sure that we get any residual water out of the lines. You'll do that by hooking up a compressed air hose to the city water inlet here um, it'll need to have a garden hose attachment that is adapted to an air compressor with a 35 pound regulator in line. Um, you'll turn the compressor on and get all the water out of the system and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so now that we've run compressed air through the lines and got the water out of the system, we'll reinstall the filter into the Truma. It goes back in the same way it came out. And it's important to close the relief valve back off after we're done. That way we keep dirt and debris from getting into the unit. We will close the door and move on to the next step. All right, so the next step is to bypass the water heater. Uh, we're in the rear of a 25TW. Um, this is where the water heater is located in this unit. So here you can see the connections on the back of the water heater. We're gonna make sure that the valve go into the bottom line is turned to the off position and there's another valve that comes from the top line that we're going to want to make sure is open. So now that the water heater is bypassed we're going to move back to the sewer board and find the included hose that has a threaded end. We'll connect that to our winterization line. Make sure that the water pump is turned off at this point. We'll swap the blue valve back to dry. This end of the hose will go in your bucket of antifreeze. We'll open this valve back up on the winterization line and turn the water pump on to begin pumping antifreeze into your system. Now that the antifreeze is running through your system, you'll go inside, open every fixture, hot and cold, until you see the antifreeze coming out, and then you'll close it off. Once every fixture has antifreeze running through it and you've got a sufficient amount in your P-traps, then you'll go back outside, turn your water pump off, and disconnect the line that you hooked up to our winterization line, and that completes the winterization of your plumbing system. Zach, thanks for the phenomenal overview. Very, very good step-by-step -step instructions on the Wayfair winterization. Uh, one thing we would like to talk about briefly before we wrap up, how do I de-winterize when I'm ready to go out in the spring for my first camping trip? 
Excellent question, Lee. So the first step to dewinterization is to put the smile back on your face and get ready for another exciting camping, uh, camping season. Um, you're going to start by filling the fresh tank with water. Uh, you're going to run your pump until all of the pink stuff comes out. You know, all the antifreeze is out of the system. Uh, you're going to open up each faucet one by one, make sure you've got all the antifreeze out of the lines, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Awesome. Again, great job. Thank you for being our special guest today on this edition of Tiffin Tips, and we look forward to seeing you next time.